This tutorial will introduce you to 3D rendering and inspection in SPIP. To generate a 3D rendering, simply press the 3D button or 3 on your keyboard. You can navigate the 3D view by use of your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can choose the navigation mode from the ribbon. The default mode is Free Transform where you can rotate the surface and change the pitch. In the dedicated modes for Rotate, Pitch and Roll, the surface only rotates around one axis. Please note that the axes which the surface is rotated around are shown as navigation aids in the 3D view. The mouse cursor is also updated to reflect the selected navigation mode. SPIP also offers dedicated modes for adjusting the Z scale. The zoom level and the position of the surface. Finally, you can control the directional light the directional light is very important when you want to emphasize or tone down certain features on the surface. Just like the other modes, you can use your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust the settings. Please note that you can toggle the navigation aids on and off and that you have quick access to most navigation modes by use of keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are listed in the info panel in the 3D view. By familiarizing yourself with these shortcuts, you will be able to quickly inspect your surface in 3D from different directions and with different light settings. Each of the navigation modes comes with a list of presets which makes it easy for you to revert to a known state. In the layout menu, you can toggle the title, axes, grid lines and block on and off. In the overlay menu, you can combine the topographic information of your image with the colors from another image expressing some other surface properties than height. For example, you can overlay an AFM height image with colors from its phase image. The default setting is none, which means that the colors are determined by the height values of the image. You can change the color scale from the 3D color scale gallery. All other settings are available in the View Settings pane. Here you can adjust the window background, camera angle and title. In addition, you can change the position, axis and image rendering. You can also add wireframes to your 3D rendering. You may set the current view settings as your default settings by pressing this button. Now all new 3D rendering will be generated using these settings. You can also save your settings to file if you want to maintain a collection of settings for different applications. In the 3D animation pane, you can create impressive 3D animations for your PowerPoint presentations or web page. An animation sequence is simply defined by two or more keyframes. Where the keyframe contains all the 3D parameters defining the 3D scene, plus a time difference to the next keyframe. SPIP automatically interpolates frames between your keyframes to create a smooth animation.